preceding World War II, around the early 1930s, my grandparents were both born into relatively poor families with limited money and resources. Their parents had to work very hard to keep up with all the struggles they faced during this time period. One of the major causes of this Great Depression was the notorious series of bank failures where unfortunately my great-grandparents fell victim to. Depositive savings were too much for banks to pay off, and as a result, people lost money. Transitioning from this time of poverty, both of my grandfathers decided to enlist in the war. My dad's dad took the route of an infantry soldier and mainly enlisted out of anger following his dad's death. On one specific occasion, my grandfather was involved in the battle for Saipan off the coast of the Mariana Islands. Him, along with his squadron, was being bombarded, and my grandfather was left alive with seven bullet wounds and a severe leg injury. He was honorably discharged from the army with a Purple Heart achievement. Upon arriving back in America, my father was conceived later in Detroit. When he was still a kid, he was living amongst the horrific Detroit riots. Whenever my dad left his house, he had to be especially careful navigating the area as there was a lot of looting and violence in the streets. Time passed and my dad and his brother were close to graduating high school when the Vietnam War was occurring. Both my dad and his brother Mike were about to be drafted into the effort when his paranoid parents decided to move to Ann Armour to ensure their son's safety. When my parents finally grew up and met each other, they eventually decided to purchase a house together. During this time, Jimmy Carter was inaugurated into presidency and inflation rates were very high. Because of this, my parents were unable to afford the mortgage rate on the house and had to borrow money. As they eventually got through the thick of things, my dad started to increasingly invest in the stock market. Unfortunately, in 1987, with Black Monday, in around 2002, the dot-com bubble stock market crashed. My dad had lost a significant amount of money, although he slowly recovered. Finally, in my generation, the most significant event of the time period was 9-11. This historic day on September 11, 2001, was seared into my memory as I was in the after-school academic program for kindergarten. I remember staring blankly into the TV, unaware of what was happening, and recall hearing such words as terrorism and tragedy. It appears that the, there is more and more fire and smoke enveloping the very top of the building, and as fire crews are descending on this area, it, it it does not appear that there's any kind of a, an effort up there yet. Now remember, oh my God. Oh my God. That looks like a second plane. With everyone on the brink of fear, my mother was quickly evacuated from her high-rise building. Unknown to me at this time, this event would drastically alter American history. Tonight we are a country awakened to danger and called to defend freedom. Our grief has turned to anger and anger to resolution. Whether we bring our enemies to justice or bring justice to our enemies, justice will be done. Following this event, our country dove into a new era of nationalism and a new age of war. We prioritized our capture and punishment of Osama bin Laden, and now only time will tell what lies in our future.